here is the IC station website you can see and this is the project any triple five multi-channel waveform generator a suit DIY kit electronics so this is and the price is $2.59 and here is the kit uh, demonstration you can see these are the parts they will supply and this all is very reasonable the price is reasonable we are going to make this kit and here are all instructions I am going to include for the assembly and then for the testing also it's time for post bag so you can see this is a post bag which had been come from China from IC station they had sent it to me on my address and it's by Singapore post of course and here it is written they have put their marking or somewhere so what is inside I just opened it and I'm going to remove the packet from its side and inside this red foam as a kit you can see this kit it's a small tiny kit a function generator so I'm going to remove items from and as you can see whole bunch of components and here is the schematic diagram and this one is a PCB so the PCB is something nicely written as you can see the silk the component silk it is showing everything very clearly there are values even written so there are uh, register designations like R4 C3 and then there is a value 103 1 kilo 4.7 kilo so it's everything is been written and also there is terminal like ground output and uh, then a ground VCC power supply and here will be a header which are yeah these this is the header which is giving different waveforms as uh, a signal generator so this is what is a little demonstration of the PCB here is a schematic diagram of course you can download uh, this schematic diagram from my blog the blog is given downside in the description so you must see that blog there you will get this diagram this is written in Chinese uh, but a little bit understanding we can make uh, the power is coming from here then the diode triple five IC and here these two terminals four and eight are the terminals for power and the three is the output this is a well-known chip for the oscillator circuits uh, three output is going through this capacitor and this network RC network it is going to J1 and then through this network it is going to J2 then to J3 and J4 so this all is the way of shaping network uh, this is and then here you can see this potentiometer is there for which purpose it is we will see later on and here is the output yeah this is some some sort of amplifier you can see you can see this is the amplifier so where we will connect we will connect this jumper they have given this small jumper we will put this jumper on and then this one this uh, potentiometer will give us the amplification through this transistor which which is there on the schematic I don't know uh, which designated transistor is this is Q1 9013 so 9013 will be somewhere over here Q1 is over here of course this one this one is the transistor this is a transistor Q190313 the other one is also 9013Q2 so Q2 is over here for the wave shaping so this this is the little demonstration for this circuit and for this what you will need is all the components are there the soldering iron soldering iron of course over here uh, hot soldering iron will be required to solder all these things and the soldering wire they should include the soldering wire minimum I asked them but they did not so okay it's okay uh, here is the IC socket we should have to correct it pins so the pins had, we, had been corrected we will start from this and here is this notch you can see for this IC this is demonstrating the no downside of the notch is the pin one so I'm going to and there is also a notch in the socket so I have to put this notch down and uh, align with the notch which is on the silk screen so like this I have to put it in first the socket and then we will solder it now 
So here I am going to solder this IC socket first. So pin by pin I would have to solder. The better way is I have to go for some cross pattern while soldering because I, sh I should not have to uh, melt this plastic of the socket by putting heat too much heat on one particular pin at a time so this is and some way I did it cross and some way I did not cross it but okay for you you should have to cross them it is better especially for the new guys who are just new with electronics so this is soldered now you can see and what I will do next is I should have to uh, put all capacitors because capacitors are easy to put in here is 104 you can see this is written as 104 maybe the camera is focusing or not I don't know yeah now it's focused so 104 capacitor means 0 0.0 0.1 microfarad this is the older whatever the units are my 0 0.1 microfarad and 104 is this is a Japanese written uh, terminology which they are writing so we will locate 104 which is this C5 we have to put it in and then other we have to grab another capacitor which is in our case somewhat 103 Yeah, now it's focused 103. So 103, I have to put it in the place of 103. 103 is somewhere, if I will find it, is over here. Here in this place. So I have to put it in 103. So some lead I will keep and some I will cut later on. Something like this and then solder it. don't put too much solder this is the mistake new guys are making as I put too much solder over here so I have to remove it the solder blob should not be because by this way you will create problem a dry solder problems are coming in this way and then later on your circuit will not work which is something not a good, good way to be and take care with the soldering bridges don't create any solder bridge this is also some people are making while well, they are new with electronics and now is the time that we have to cut these just I was about to show you how to do with the side cutter plier side cutter, cutter plier you have to take and you have to cut all the excess wires after soldering before, so before soldering you should not cut because by that way it will be difficult to solder them these components and next is for all capacitors we will do the same thing next is the a few components I have to show you how to do how to deal with them is the resistors the resistors are color coded actually but for some people it is okay they know the color code but for someone and for some resistors it is difficult to understand the color code like this one it is okay you can understand them even if you will take a little bit experience with then later on you will but the easy method is to use your multimeter so put your multimeter on the ohm range like this and then these three resistors are the same value that's why they given this in the same stick so we will not put pull them and instead we will check one so ohm range we have to check for one resistor so this is showing 982 ohms 982 ohms means 1 kilo ohm 1k so this is the 1k resistor which is in our hand the other one I have to check 981 so 981 means 1k it's about 1k so we will put this 1k resistor in the 1k place where is the 1k you can locate one is over here other is over here and the next one will be somewhere 
over here. So three are there. One I should have to grab and then I have to twist the legs like this. Put it in. The choice is yours. Either you can make one side sit and one side standing something like that. You can make or in any way you can put it. So I'm doing like this. Some way like this. And then solder it. So soldering in the same way I'm performing. What I will do is I would have to cut the excess wires your circuit should be beautiful also this is not the requirement that your circuit must be beautiful but it is good that if you will create any circuit it should be beautiful that anybody will see will see later on they will feel good if the circuit is beautiful and working on a beautiful circuit it's something nice some people are very crazy about that So another one key also I put it in. So this thing I have to cut it same way like I cut the other one. And then later on another component is these uh, strips which are some way like this we have to cut two we have to cut two legs of these terminals some way like this and then put them in for the jumper a little jiggling is required because a little bit hard to go in and we will put it in the way like this it should be and on the other side you can see they have been come off so they should come off of the board they should not be in the midway and you are soldering on the top and the soldering is not reaching to the pin and then later on you will create a loose connection and the entire circuit will not work so this is just i give you a little bit demonstration i will populate the whole circuit and then later on i will show you what is the outcome here is the complete project a few components only these five components had been remaining the, the rest of the components all have been put in uh, they intentionally I did not put I just have to give you a little bit demonstration on them here is the capacitor the polarized electrolytic capacitor you can see the value is of course something uh, 4.7 microfarad and 50 volt which is written on the capacitor and here is one line you can see and here in the middle of the line there is a negative sign you can see this one and this pin is short and this pin is longer so the shorter pin is negative the longer pin is positive and of, of course this shorter pin is corresponding to the negative line so we will take care of the capacitor polarity on the board this this is the place for this capacitor you can see the half is the white the other half is not white and there is a positive sign so we will put half of the white on the negative the negative pin we will put on half of the white some way like this and the other capacitor same way we have to put it in uh, so you will see how we are going to do it uh, this half uh, this long pin we will put on the positive side and the shaded we will put negative on this shaded white so this way we put it in and then we will solder this We solder both, both the capacitors. The excess pin we are going to cut, or the excess leads we are going to cut for both capacitors. Next is this small jumper. 
this is the jumper actually you can see uh, capacitor, these jumpers are very common in the uh, computers as in the older computers motherboards you see this jumper so this jumper we are putting on the sine wave now uh, whatever wave we are going to select we will put this jumper on so this function generator is you can say uh, sine wave rectangular wave sawtooth wave and the square wave so these four are the functions which will be given on this output output is of course out and ground so we will see later on on our meter and our scope on our scope what is the waveform and how they are then the other component which i am going to give you a little demonstration on is the transistor so here is the transistor you can see for this transistor there are three legs one is base the other is collector the, the third one is the emitter so these are the three legs for a transistor and here on the top you can see this is half circle half circle and this side is flat on the flat side there is a number written on so this is on the board also the same way they demonstrated or they have given something like the same one side is flat and the other side is some way like half round so we will put in the same orientation we will not uh, lose the orientation we will not make it incorrect otherwise the circuit will not work and also uh, the damage could cause okay so this one and other component is of course this diode which is over here there is a line on the diode this should match on the line on the board and these two terminals the power cable uh, positive uh, red for the positive and ground i put it yellow so this i already soldered and this transistor i have to solder it take care with the during the transistor soldering don't put the soldering iron for the too long time because by this way you can damage a transistor or IC these semiconductors you should have to take care with a little bit care is required they are not that sensitive but even but care is a good so that the board should work the entire board should not be failed due to your mistake or something like that so this thing is now is the time to put this IC in so here is the integrated circuit the any triple five time machine or timer i see we are going to put it in and how we are going to put it in is you can see there is a dot on the ic over here and there is a notch in the side the dots pin, the dot or the downside pin to the notch is showing pin one so this we will correspond this should correspond to the socket notch which is over here you can see this should match and then we will gently put the ic on the socket and press it will take care that we will not damage any pin for the IC and by this way we should have to put it in carefully on the socket and then as you see I made a mistake over here I just did not put the pin in correctly this uh, eighth pin so such mistakes you should avoid otherwise your circuit will not work the, the circuit will reject to work in the end so this is something everything should be taken into account so this way you have to put the IC in the IC should be flat and should be in properly as I did it so you will listen a little bit glitch also while it is fixed it properly so something like this and uh, then later on in the next video I will power this uh, this circuit up will show you the waveforms will show you the output and everything uh, later on in the next video so thank you for watching keep on watching stay tuned subscribe and like